Hi everyone, welcome back to uh, Assassin's Creed Syndicate. We have just finished the first mission with uh, Jacob, where we assassinated uh, Rupert Ferris. And now I presume we're going to be playing as Evie. I quite like these twins, they're likable. <laughs> Yard, guard quarters, Bruce's laboratory. This is where the piece of Eden will be located. No loose sense. Now, did a couple the locomotive and create a diversion. Well, where is it? Huh? Where's Bruce's supplies? Meter. Oh God, what was that flame rate drop? Assassination as easy. down the tracks you stay here and keep a look at all right i'll shout if i get any bother uh, this is gonna be first for a bird's eye view can't be too careful i'm gonna come apart not your concern bring back the cargo okay i guess they're all just leaving the aim assist works yeah. hold up a minute hold hold steady 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 I guess it's out of range I 
Oh shit. Also, the way they counter is a bit weird. While they attack me while I'm hitting them, which doesn't feel very natural. That's another issue that I have. And it probably feels like I'm nitpicking on the combat a bit, but that's because I'm uh, fresh out of Unity and I really like the direction the series went with the combat. The game looks really good too. Um, the way they've sold the weather is beautiful. I need two more weeks with the device. Your questionable practices are beginning to draw unwanted attention. You've been given more than enough time to achieve results, Sir David. I was unaware that you expected me to perform like a cocker spaniel. Permit me to remind you of your obligation to the Order. Miss Thorne, you ride me like a racehorse. Sir David, I will return tomorrow. If you have not unlocked the device's secrets, forget your dogs and horses. I will leave you to the wolves. Good day. I was merely promised a tour of the premises, my lords. Who sent you? It's one of green spies. Get that man to interrogation. Then I want him brought to the lab. What a pity. But no deviations from the mission. Also, facial capture is really amazing in this game. Whatever I've seen till now, that is. What the hell? That's the exact same input I just gave. You need him to turn away. Yeah, come closer. Who's that messing around? how the assassination animation is but uh, would the guy not shout you're driving a blade into his spine for lords i mean in unity i don't know i overall like the gameplay as in everything from the assassination to the Not just assassination, the assassination to the combat. I like the traversal in this a bit more. It feels a bit more controlled and contained. But, uh, yeah, I quite like the combat and the assassination animations a bit more. More an animation question, I guess. What was that? But, um, uh, the main problem that I find with this game is uh, combat. <laughs> I'm sorry I'm dwelling on this now. The overall it is a fun game if I'm being very honest. Throwing knives. Oh, 
phantom wing is not. Tom and Jerry here. Not good. Not bloody good. Are you are you serious? Oh. I hear pressure, I guess. Oh yeah, thank god. I got a throwing knife. Oh, what just happened? Where did the body go? That's unfortunate, I guess. Let's see if we can try to get the option objective going. battles. for the decision to remove swords.
that. Bigger than what I thought it would be, anyway. Where is Bruce? Oh, I see a chest. Yeah. All the persons pointed straight here. I'm oh, like, oh, it's straight here. Interesting. Um. Um. Okay. Yeah, that's good. Secret laboratory. Oh, shit. Perhaps I can aid this interrogation. Come here, boy. Come here. Yeah, here we go. you kindly I was in ever such a squeaky fix when what do you know you rescue me where's the hidden laboratory untie me and then we can parlay my lady I'm pressed for time tell me now it's underground requires a key one of the guards nicked mine cheeky sod thank you uh now untie me you got yourself in I trust you can get yourself out again not to worry, my lady. Can still recall a couple of tricks from me carnival days. Charming. Oh, that's interesting. Let's get it, Evie. The key. Have I cleared out this place? I don't really think so. Why is it not showing anything here? Um. How do I? Oh, 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 Unity, I guess, with uh, regard to the cover assassinations. Where, if you were in cover, you could always assassinate anyone. It has still not been patched. Also, I believe this game uses auto heal and not medicines. I'm not sure how I feel about that. I know it sounds like I'm I'm cribbing a lot about this game, but so far I am quite liking it, to be honest. Uh, I don't know. Modern games somehow don't uh, capture this feeling for me. Also, do know that I am a bit biased towards Assassin's Creed. It is one of my favorite games because I've played it since childhood, I guess. I've been with this series since the first Assassin's Creed. And, uh... Yeah, as I'm saying, I've been with this series since I was a little kid. Uh, it's been... And I was not able to play Unity and Syndicate up until recently because I didn't have a good GPU or a good PC setup played. So 
now that I'm playing it, it feels pretty good. And I know I played a lot of games recently. Uh, I played Control. I played uh, Sunset Overdrive. I played Doom. I played Sniper Elite. I get that these are different games. This game, anyway. But I find something missing in those games. Assassin's Creed Capture. I can't quite put my finger on it. I believe it's the characters. Evie and Jacob, from the very first scene, uh, they made me care about them. Which is a huge success considering most games. Um, I don't even care about the main character till the end. Uh, Sniper Elite and Hitman, for example. Although, uh, I do agree that they are very different games and they are not going for any kind of story or characterization. They are more so going only for almost entirely gameplay. Which is fine, I guess, but. I quite like the gameplay loop. I quite like the gameplay loop of Assassin's Creed in general. What I mean by that is, um, in Unity we had, some people found this repetitive, I personally liked it. Um, so, you spend the first couple of missions uh, just in a sequence, gathering intel on your target, isolating your target, all of that. And then the last mission rises to a sort of crescendo where you uh, assassinate the target with unique kills and a lot of hidden opportunities and everything, which was really fun. I'm not sure if Syndicate sticks to this formula. How does he not see me? What kind of peripheral vision is that? How did he not see me? I did like the first assassination though, being very honest. And I like the change in tone, uh, as in not just the lightheartedness, but how it put you right into the action. Because in the previous game, and even in Assassin's Creed 3, not the strongest entry in the series, neither was Unity, but all the same. Both of them had a bit of a uh, section where you had to play as a child, and they were not exactly very. Uh, how do I put this? They were in the most fun sections, gameplay-wise. Although it did provide some kind of character for Arno, I guess. Where is the entrance now? I like how this game put you right into the action. And... Uh, Let's see how the game goes. Uh, as of right now, I am quite liking it. Despite my problems with the combat. Which is a bit annoying to me. I cannot deny that. I think someone should be here. Yeah. There you are. The entrance to Bruce's lab. because I like the hood. Unpopular opinion about Assassin's Creed Odyssey. Not that I've played it, but uh, Origins was the birth of the Creed. And Odyssey is set in a timeline before Origins. So why is it even called Assassin's Creed? Questions to be 
Also, what did you guys feel about the new Valhalla trailer? Did you see the premiere? What are your thoughts on it? Oh, double assassination, finally. I like it that it comes pretty early on because in Unity it took a little longer as far as I remember. Here it gave it to you right away. So you quite like. Eagle vision. Lock picking. So this is kind of like a kill streak. I'm not sure if I should be buying that. I'm buying this. I'm buying lockpick. Speaking of lockpicking, uh, Unity's lockpicking was. I like Assassin's Creed 3's lockpicking more than Unity's lockpicking. And Unity's lockpicking was weird. I mean, not the mechanic itself, but throughout the game I was struggling to find money. Ah, they kept the animation, I think. My base was close to that, yes. By the way, it's Sir to you. The blokes are knackered, Sir. Someone's gonna get hurt if you push too hard. Honest to God. And someone's gonna be out of work if you keep on whinging like your old codger. So, the thing about uh, the way the game worked in Assassin's Creed Unity was throughout the game I was struggling to scavenge money and risk. But the moment I started up Dead Kings in just one mission through lock picking, I was able to earn around 100,000 francs, whatever the currency was. I don't know what exactly it's called. And just through that one mission, I was immediately able to acquire a lot of legendary gear. It's just quite funny how unbalanced the game was. I hope this rectifies his flaws. Despite that, I liked Unity as well. You know, it seems like I'm criticizing these games a lot, but I really uh, did enjoy playing through it. Like I said, I did like the game trailer. Ah. Oh. Increase the electricity. But it'll become unstable, sir. You heard what Miss Thorne said. We need results now. Is that a Vandegraaff generator? Or other Tesla coins? I don't know. I'm probably blabbering at this point. I don't know what I'm talking about to be very honest. Uh, but I like how Assassin's Creed in general really nails the historic aspect. Everything from the machinery to the setting, it really does a good job capturing that specific time frame. Oh, I like that. I just feel, I'm just a bit disappointed with the direction the series is currently taking. I mean like, um, I thought given that we are getting closer and closer to the present day, uh, we could have probably had a game set in the Vietnam War or the Indian Freedom Struggle or something like that in the 70s or the 40s. 1940s or 70s that is and then reach the present day where I don't know we have a grand finale where oh not a guard then have a grand finale where uh, you know in present day we shut down I'm still go and I'm not necessarily the biggest fan of them having killed Desmond 
it's probably an unpopular opinion but i did like the present day storyline Time to lay down your head, Sir David Brewster. But I have so much more to discover. Do not be afraid. I'm not. God will protect me. I will continue your experiment. You will not stop, Sarek. Miss Thorne has already found another piece of Eden, more powerful than the last. I will take that one too. We fight to gain what we cannot take with us. It's in our nature. in this game it's actually pretty good and remarkably bug free till now except the occasional extra popping i mean compared to unity that is i guess it was because they were running the unity as far as i know they were running unity on a new game engine then that is sure but it makes a lot of sense um, i guess they were They were a bit familiar with the engine now. They optimized it better. I read online that uh, in Unity they had attached uh, individual scripts to every one of the NPCs, AI scripts. I'm not really sure about this, but if that was the case, that would explain a lot as to why uh, the game performed a bit bad. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe and share. If you're new around here, please click on the bell icon for notifications. I will be uploading this uh, a video every day and uh, I hope to keep this series coming and uh, thanks for watching.